Flow control is the last little bit here in our notes. Now, not all protocols do flow control. Flow control is handled, by the way, at layer 4 in Ethernet, in the OSI model, uh, when we use Ethernet. Uh, at layer 2, we do not do flow control. However, there are some layer 2 protocols that do do flow control, and so we will describe them. Flow control simply means that the receiver dictates the size of the chunks that the sender should send next. Uh, so, or, or the speed for that matter, by the way. So here, if this sender sends some information, the receiver, when it receives it, says, oh, by the way, make a new window size of, of this, 2048, uh, before I will send any more acknowledges back. So it sends 2048, and now it says, okay, don't send me any right now. Uh, and then later on, okay, ready, semi-2048, and so and so on. So this goes on so that the receiver can control how fast his data is sent. It can be based on how many errors are arriving or, you know, whether packets get dropped and they're just not coming in fast enough. So it can control that speed and the size of, of these packets as they come in so that, uh, so the, you know, things, it doesn't have to keep asking for retransmissions from the sender. Again, this is not done in Ethernet. This is done at layer 4 in the OSI model in our case, but we just wanted you to be aware that some protocols in layer 2, other than Ethernet, can do flow control, and uh, we really don't see that very much today. Thank you very much.